Hey, good afternoon. It's Jimmy, your astute tourist here. Today we're in Winchester, New Hampshire. It's on the western side of the state. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We wanted to feature some covered bridges that we have here in the New England area. Uh, New Hampshire especially, we have several of them throughout the state. Today we came over to the western side, like I said we're in Winchester, and um, we're going to travel north from here, but as you can see behind me, this is the first one. This is New Hampshire Covered Bridge number one. It's over the Ashalot River, it's the Ashalot Covered Bridge. So let's check it out. Passenger cars only, it says. So if you look up there, you can see it says a $5 fine for riding or driving over this bridge faster than a walk. The Ashalot Covered Bridge it was built in 1864. And as you can see, these bridges are made of wood. And they do catch fire from time to time. And there's Colleen. And we decided to bring somebody with us today. That's Molly. Very excited to ride the bridge. Molly is our two-year-old chocolate lab. So, so she's very excited. This is her first uh, trip with us. I'm gonna come by, show you from the other side, and then we'll walk down the other side of the, the bridge. All right, so we're cruising down the other side. This one's a big one. It's very long. It's a nice one. I haven't been here. And look at, you can see, I mean, some of these bridges were built a long time ago. That's a wooden peg that's holding this together. I mean, obviously, there's been some uh, big bolts and nuts added, but if you look, these are wooden pegs. That's holding those cross members together. That's really, really cool. So all right, so we're going to cross over and head back to the truck and um, make our way to the next covered bridge. Okay, so we made it to covered bridge number two. It's right there behind me. This is in Winchester, New Hampshire as well. It's off of Route 10. It's on Coombs Bridge Road, which is appropriate because that's Coombs Bridge behind me. Coombs Bridge, it's in Winchester, New Hampshire. It's west of New Hampshire Route 10. It's one half mile southwest of Westport Village on Old Westport Road over the Ashalot River in the town of Winchester. It's a lattice uh, style bridge, a lattice truss bridge like the uh, bridge number one that we're at in Ashalot. It was built in 1837. It was named after its original builder, Anthony Coombs. So let's take a look at this one. This is the Combs Bridge. I believe it's New Hampshire Bru Covered Bridge number two. Let's see if we can get through it without getting run over. So this one has the wooden pegs in it as well in the lattice cross beams and made of wood. really cool. They're yeah, pretty cool bridges, you can see the cross members that are coming out providing support the rest of the bridge. It's built up on these granite stanchions, granite blocks. If you're not familiar with New Hampshire, we are the granite state. And there's lots of it. All right, so we're at our third bridge today. This one is called the Slate Covered Bridge. Another one that was appropriately named after the person who built it. This is uh, east of Route 10 in Swansea, New Hampshire. It's on the Westport Village Road. 
little information about the bridge. So this is east of New Hampshire Route 10 on Westport Village Road near Westport Village over the Ashalot River in Swansea. It was built in 1862 and it's a lattice truss like the other two that we saw. It's a lattice truss uh, bridge. It originates from the Slate family who lived on a farm along the river north of the bridge. It is the second bridge in this location. The first one was built around 1800 and in 1842 William Wheelock was halfway across the earlier bridge with a span of four oxen when the bullet bridge collapsed, dropping both driver and animals into the river. Although no one was hurt, Wheelock engaged an attorney from Keene to seek damages from the town. The current bridge was damaged by a snowplow in 1987 and was repaired at a cost of $2,000. So again, these bridges, they're made of wood and they are vulnerable to uh, all the things that wood are. So if somebody crashes into it, it's going to damage it, uh, if they catch on fire, of course. And apparently the first bridge wasn't uh, built quite uh, strong enough to hold a man and his four oxen. And into the water they went. So right now we are at the Slate Covered Bridge in Swansea, New Hampshire. And we're moving on to the next one. We're going to head to bridge number four. Okay, we're still in Swansea, New Hampshire. We're at the Thompson Covered Bridge. It was originally built in 1832. It was reconstructed in 1993. I'm not sure if it was because it was old or if because it had an accident. We'll find out more about that and maybe I'll put something down in the description that says what happened and why they reconstructed the Thompson Cover Bridge in 1993. bridge there. There is a sidewalk so we're gonna check that out. This one's another long one you can see again it's another wooden truss construction. This one's been pegged but it looks like there may be some metal rods or some threaded bolts going through. And single lane A lot of history with these bridges. As I pointed out, there's the fire alarm on these. Again, they're made of wood, so there is the danger of them lighting on fire by accident. Okay, so I was mentioning sprinklers. I don't know if you can see that up there, but that's This one is protected from fire. And we we're talking about why it was reconstructed in 93. Maybe it's possible that it, it was damaged by fire. Again, I'm gonna look that up and we'll find out. This is the Thompson Bridge in Swansea, New Hampshire. And we are over that same river, the Ashalot River. I know we kind of went out of order. We were just at number three. But this is the Thompson Covered Bridge in Swansea, New Hampshire. Okay, we've made it to our next bridge. This is the Carlton Bridge. We're in South Swansea, New Hampshire, again on the Ashalot River. This bridge was built in 1789 according to town records but there's not a lot on it according to what I read on the website they rebuilt it in 1869 again I'm not sure why they rebuilt that um, this one's a lot smaller this one is uh, called the Queens Post Trust Construction that's the type of trust construction it is According to town records, it was built by local farmers because barn building was similar. They used the truss construction to build these bridges. Let's see if we can walk through without getting run over. Take a look at the inside. So this one has the posts on it. They call this Queen's Post Truss Construction. 
And similar to some of the other ones, this one does have a fire department Knox box on it right there. You can see that. And it is sprinkled as well. So, I don't think they have a fire pump. What I think is, is if there is a fire here, the fire truck will plug into that. And that must be the fire department connection. And we're going to put the cap on it. So this must be the fire department connection for the sprinkler system. And it's inside the Carlton Bridge. Put the cap on it. So this is the Carlton Bridge. It's in South Swansea across the southern part of the Ashalot River. And I've lost track of the numbers. I know this is number five for us, but I'm not sure which New Hampshire number of covered bridges is. We kind of got we kind of got off track with the numbers. It's another one-lane bridge. It smells like a barn in here. There's that fire department connection on this side, so you can get to it from either side. That's a great idea because, like I said, these old wooden bridges, they do catch fire from time to time. This is a part of our American history here and they need to be protected. So, I'm gonna move on. I think we have one more bridge and um, we're gonna get to that right now. So this is the Sawyer Crossing Bridge or the Crescent Bridge in Swansea, New Hampshire. This is New Hampshire Bridge, Covered Bridge, New Hampshire Covered Bridge, number six. I don't know if you could see it, it's got that granite center bridge abutment underneath there. We're going to get out the truck here in a second and take a look. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. So it's a two-span town truss construction. It's resting on abutments with a central pier made of split granite. It was built in 1859 and it replaced the bridge that was originally built in 1771. But we're going to get out and we're going to check it out. This one is the Sawyer Crossings Bridge or Crescent Bridge. So we'll walk up on it. We'll take a look at the underneath of it first. Like I said, New Hampshire, it's the granite state. And uh, there's plenty of it around. Oh, look, we can get underneath it. Get some stairs down. Check it out. Looks like a good fishing spot. This is kind of cool. We'll get a look of the underneath. Hopefully I don't fall down in the mud here. It's pretty muddy. Pretty mucky, but see underneath. Made of wood. All the way down. There's that split granite center abutment that we just mentioned. I made it up there. There's a lot of traffic on this road. Let's see if I can get up near it. I'm almost afraid to walk through it. I don't think I'm gonna. There is a lot, a lot of traffic coming down the road, but we can look down the edge of it. There it is. See those that split granite bridge abutment below. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to be walking through there. This one's a little too dangerous, but you can see it's a it's a long one. This one is protected by a sprinkler system. You can see it in there. You may not be able to see it. It's up in there. Right up in there is the pipe. And I didn't really know that. I didn't know that they protected these with sprinklers, but I think it's a really good idea. They are so vulnerable to fire, considering they're made of wood, of course. This is a busy one. They're busy here. Again, this is another truss construction. I'm not going to be walking through this one. This is the Crescent Bridge built in 1859. So this has been a quick tour of some of New Hampshire's covered bridges. We did six of them today in the western part of the state. We're in 
Swansea, New Hampshire. This is the Crescent Bridge. We're on a busy road here, but if you can get a chance to come to New Hampshire, the state has covered bridges all the way from where we are in the southwest corner, all the way up to the White Mountains. Um, there's lots of them around, and most of them are made of wood, and they're truss bridges as well. If you find yourself in New England, you can look this up on any of the websites uh, that talk about New Hampshire, specifically the covered bridges, and you can find a map and find information on how to find these um, unique and historical structures. Hey, if you like our videos and uh, you want us to continue this content, why don't you like and give us a comment? And if you want, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And um, you can go ahead and click that bell icon and you'll get notified every time we put out a new video. So this is Jimmy, your astute tourist. We'll see you later.